Hi, we're Brian and Tina with Jones and To Go. In today's video, our RV is going to get a long overdue upgrade. We are finally getting a new mattress. Yeah, after almost three years, we're finally getting around to this project. And I have to say, the mattress that came with our Montana was probably one of the nicest mattresses we've ever gotten in an RV from the factory. However, it just wasn't cutting the mustard. Well, I love the size. I love that it's a king, but it wasn't comfortable enough for us so we put like a three inch memory foam thing on top and for me that is just way too soft I need it a little firmer and it makes me really hot so I don't sleep well I wake up a lot because I'm too hot yeah and when she wakes up she wakes me up so we're gonna put an end to that today hopefully and as usual we've always videoed our upgrades and modifications that we've made to our RV so be sure and subscribe to the channel click the bell and hit the like to um, get notified when there's a new one coming out. You can go to the playlist on our channel page and see all of the modifications and upgrades that we've made to this RV so far. So let's take them up front and show them what we got. All right, stick around and we're gonna show you what we're replacing and what we're replacing it with. Okay, so this is what we're replacing today. This lovely memory foam mattress, which it's crap, in my opinion. It's supposed to be cooling gel. It's not. It's way too hot. It's too soft for my back. I had back surgery in 2020. I need a little firmer. He likes it softer. We got to meet in the middle. Well, one thing I want to say about this cooling pad or this foam pad that's supposed to have the cooling gel in it. If you're up here in the northern part of the United States like we are, before we leave for Florida, it does get pretty cold. This will get as hard as a rock in cold it temperatures. Yeah, it's like it's like sitting on a, a nice a block of ice. So when it gets cold, it gets very, very firm. And then you've got to warm the coach up for a while before it softens up again. So that's another thing that we're not going to miss. This is the mattress that came with our Montana. It's about eight inches thick and it's a memory foam mattress. Like I said earlier, it's probably one of the nicer mattresses that we've ever um, gotten from the factory in one of our new RVs. But yeah, I think it's, I, I think it might be like a Sealy or a Serta. I'm not, I don't remember exactly, yeah. but it, it was a name <laughs> brand, but it's, it's still just not meeting our needs. No, and you can see why. I mean, they put the mattresses on a sheet of plywood. There is no box springs in an RV to, for any of that extra give. So, we're going to get this thing out of here. I don't know how. We, at this point, I think I'm just going to fold it up like a taco and kind of drag it out the front door. It might not be pretty to watch, but it's going to get out of here today. And then we'll bring in the, the new one from um, RVmattress.com or Brooklyn Bedding. Brooklyn and Bedding. We're going to get that thing set up, show you guys how to unbox it, get it set up. And so when you receive your Brooklyn bedding, ours came FedEx, shipped from Arizona, which they're also manufactured in Arizona, so that's a plus in our book because there's not many products nowadays that you can say is manufactured right here in the United States. The box is kind of big and awkward for two for one person, so you're going to need two people, you know, two sets of hands to get it in. It's 85 pounds, so, you know, two people, probably better on your back. The directions are right here on the box. You simply unbox it, unroll it, let it expand, and there's also a toll-free number. If you have any questions, you can call Brooklyn Betty, or you can look up Brook brooklynbetty.com for any other information you might need. Okay, before I open this up, there's one thing I wanted to mention. As you can see here, our RV has built-in nightstands next to the bed. And so that's the reason we chose the Signature Series mattress is because it's 11 inches thick. All that information is on their website, so when you're going to choose your mattress and the length and the width of your mattress, you want to take things like that into consideration. Um, I really didn't want to have to move nightstands because we also have outlets in the way. So again, that's why we chose the Signature because it comes in at 11 inches thick which will fit right underneath there, just like our old mattress with the topper did. So let's get this thing opened up. I'm opening this thing up 
laying down because obviously we didn't have the headroom with it sitting to, to lift it off the top of the box. I think you just cut that tape. There you go. Okay. So there you go. Mattress is in there all wrapped up. We'll just keep rolling. I'm going to just roll it off of the, the cardboard and get the cardboard box out of the way. Okay, so we're just going to spin this thing and... Hopefully it's in the right direction when we're done. <laughs> right, and we're just going to start unwrapping it. Okay, it doesn't look like much yet, so I'm going to go ahead and break the seal. And you'll hear it too, it's stuck in there already. Just take extra caution not to cut your mattress. Right, I'm just going to start just tearing it off because I don't want that to happen. Because if anybody would pull that off, it would probably be me. And you can hear it, it's already sucking air in there. Look at that, how fast oh, it's wow. coming up. That's not taking long at all. Oh, that looks like it's gonna be a nice fit. Perfect fit, actually. I'm not sure it's gonna expand a little more yet, but. Okay, as you can see, it's up already almost to its full height, which is 11 inches. I'm sure it's got a little ways to go yet. And so so keep in mind that it also comes in different softnesses or firmnesses. It comes in soft, medium, and firm. We went with uh, medium firmness. He likes it soft. I like it a little firmer. So hopefully we made a happy, happy, medium. happy, happy compromise here. So, okay, we're going to let this continue to expand. I'll show you guys around the website a little bit, and then we're going to come back. We're actually taking off tomorrow morning for three or four days, so we're going to be able to test this thing out, and when we get back from the trip, we'll let you guys know how it went, how we slept on it, um, if her back hurts when she gets up in the morning anymore, or... If I'm too hot. Or she's My too thing hot. Is, I was always too hot. I always felt like I was sinking down in a hole that... That memory foam was just too soft. Yeah. Did you notice something that I just did? Put your hand on there. See how cool that feels? Oh, yeah. That actually feels cool awesome. to the touch. So this is going to be interesting to see how she sleeps. So we'll catch up with you guys um, after we've slept on it for a few nights. So let's take a quick look at RVMattress.com's website. As you can see, when you go there and you land on their homepage, they've made this website extremely user-friendly and easy to navigate with a lot of information. So you can see up here at the t top at the toolbar, you can put your cursor over mattresses and see what mattresses they have to offer, as well as accessories. And you can see the accessories that they have to offer, such as pillows, sheets, blankets, and foundations. They also have a really neat tab here for RV destinations, where you can click on that and go see some of the top RV destinations in America. And you can do that simply by just clicking and choosing a state here and, and see what they have to offer throughout the United States. So let's go back to the home page. And you can go to mattresses and select a mattresses two different ways. Number one, you can do that by just going back up here to the toolbar and selecting a mattress. You can click shop now and it'll take you to the full page where you can select a mattress. And we're gonna go to the Brooklyn Signature Hybrid because that's what we just put in our RV and just kind of show you how to select the size and your firmness and, and get to check out. Before we do that, I just wanted to point out one more time, these are made in America, right in the state of Arizona. And you also get a 120 night free trial. And if for whatever reason you may not like your mattress, they also offer free shipping and returns. So let's just go and select a mattress. You can just 
click on the size mattress right here in this box and then just simply go down through the pull down tabs and select which size you'd like. If you want more details, you can click this view details here and it'll bring up mattress size guide. And then you just go back and simply choose what firmness you'd like. And if you'd like to add a cooling cover, you can do that here as well. As you're going through and adding options, it'll change the price up here at the top for you can, so you can see that. So they also have a nice little video on each mattress um, that tells you all the details of how they developed that mattress. If there's any other questions that you have, if you scroll down, you can click any one of these tabs on some of these frequently asked questions and get the answers. And this is where we found out how thick the hybrid mattress was or the signature hybrid mattress was 11 inches thick. All those details are right there. You can scroll through those. So you can see the website's full of information and extremely easy to navigate. So we're going to jump back to the RV and let you guys know how the last three nights on this mattress went for us and how we liked it. Okay, now we've had a chance to sleep on this bed for three nights. But before we get into how we liked it, we'd like to thank the folks over at RVMattress.com and Brooklyn Bedding for sending out this signature mattress for us to try out and to sponsor in the video. So you're the one that had the most trouble with the last mattress. So we'll start with you. What's your opinion of this? I absolutely love it. Love it. Slept a whole lot better. The firmness is perfect. The I don't get hot. I'm not sinking into it. I fall asleep faster I feel like yeah I think you did yeah. I definitely <laughs> think you fell asleep faster and I have a confession to make I didn't mind the other mattress so much as she did but I always had a little trouble getting out of it and I always blamed it on my fat gut or just getting old and I don't have any trouble getting out of this one like I did the other one so I, I guess tried to tell you. I can't blame my fat gut anymore um, it definitely uh, is soft enough for me but yet you know, firm enough for you. So for, firm enough that I could tolerate a better night's sleep or definitely get a better night's sleep out of it. I could probably be a little bit firmer, but you know, it's but, a happy compromise. But your back's me. not bothering you no, when you get up? No, my back doesn't bother me when I get up. I'm not waking up hot a million times a night. Well, even though we've only slept on it for three nights so far, the nice thing about this company is we have a 120 night um, sleep trial. So for some reason you don't like your mattress, um, you can send it back free of charge. They have free shipping. Again, they're coming out of Arizona. They're built right here in the United States. So that is a definite plus as far as, you know, buying from a company like this. Um, you know, and it fits our RV perfectly. It went right in there. We were able to take the measurements from our other one and find a mattress on their website. Like I showed you how easy their website is to navigate. Um, well, my thing was it had to fit underneath those shelves. Yeah, so, and we found one that fit just like the other one perfect. did. So it worked out perfect for us. We both slept a lot better. Yes. For sure. There's no question about that. Um, you know, and they have all kinds of odd sizes like RV mattresses come in, even for bunk beds. So if you've got a bunkhouse and you've got one of those crazy little teddy bear two, mattresses. Two or three inches tops. Yeah, I yeah. mean, we've had bunk houses in the past that had those teddy bear mattresses. And maybe for kids that's okay, but if you have guests over and they've got to sleep on one of them bunks, they're not going to be happy. So, you know, you can get them for your bunk beds as well. So, you know, we're pretty happy with this. You know, we took the old mattress out, wrapped it up, stored it in the basement because quite honestly, if we get a new RV, this mattress is coming with us. Oh, absolutely. It is not going to the yeah. new owners. We're going to put the old mattress back in, and this is coming with us. That's for sure. Um, you know, we live in this RV in the wintertime for a few months, so this kind of comfort is definitely going to be a welcome addition in this RV. So if you're looking for a new mattress for your RV, head over to RVmattress.com. And don't forget to type in Jones in to get your 20% off. As usual, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.